So whether you have your own small business or you're looking to make some extra cash selling some items on eBay or Craigslist even, one of the most critical components to making money is choosing the right price for that product or service. People have to be willing to pay it. Here to help us price for profit is the author of How Much Should I Charge? Well, how appropriate for this segment, Ellen Rohr. Ellen, good morning. Welcome back. Good oh, morning. Oh, look at you posing. <laughs> wow, it's not how even Friday yet. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. You were here Thanks. once before, and I missed out on that, and I apologize. Well, we get to meet just, today. I know. I'm excited. Now, I am no business mogul. Okay. But I think I can understand the idea that you have to charge something higher than what it costs to make whatever you're selling yeah. if you want to make some money. Doesn't that seem simple? Kind of does, But, yeah. you know, I went to business school, and you know what they taught us? A big lie, which is you have to charge what the market will bear, or you have to charge the going rate. Mm. But the going rate is good for going down the drain. So, oh, yeah, if you want to make more money, yeah, you could scrimp and save, but probably you need to raise your prices. So, that's what we're going to talk about now today. Now that we're living in a world where, like, half of all businesses that people start go out of business after right. 12 months, and you're telling people, don't buy that you should price really low. That's no. kind of a tough pill to swallow. It goes against the normal thinking. It's scary, but that's why we're here. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, so if you want to make more money, I suggest you might have to raise your prices. You uh -oh. can fix your business. Whoa. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And you can fix your business by coming up with the right selling price. You know, a lot of people say that small business has it tough because there's no capital out there. I don't think that's why people go out of business. I think they're not charging enough. Really? So this is how you, this is how I learned it, and it was scary. You have to add up your cost of doing business. So I'm going to use the B word. Budget. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's put a, a budget word. together. Well, it's kind of like you should eat more broccoli, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, we know we should put a budget together. Yeah. but. That's what it took for me was to crunch the numbers, you know, mm -hmm. add up my costs of doing business. Right. And when I added up my costs of doing business, I found out I was charging less than it was costing me. But I, until I confronted the numbers, I, I couldn't really figure that out. And that's a recipe for failure. Yeah. And so I said, you know what? I'm sick and tired of going into debt because mm -hmm. that's how you stay in business. If you're charging less than it costs, you keep racking up the debt. And that's not good either. No. Mm. Okay, so you confront the numbers and right. then you, you figure out how much, you know, you've got to charge and then you go do it. But here's what I'll tell you. If you want to be the low cost provider, that game is over. Walmart does a great job of that. They own All that. the big yeah. yeah, they own it. So as a small business owner, Get clear that you're going to have to charge more. Put a little budget together. We made one available to your to your viewers, to our viewers today on the website. A handy little worksheet that they can fill out that'll y tell them what they yeah, need to know. Yeah, I did yeah. it with this right. once upon a time, right, but right. I'm old. So now we have cool <laughs> spreadsheets and stuff. I got gotcha. And we've got one at barebonesbiz.com. Slash K -M -O -V. If people don't believe this, there are cases where businesses, well-known businesses, have not just doubled, tripled their prices sure. in some cases and are still doing phenomenally well. E small businesses and big businesses. Yeah. Starbucks, you know, I used to serve coffee as a kid and you could buy a 39 cent endless cup of coffee. Who would have thought that you would pay $7 for a cup of coffee? Yeah. But what Starbucks does is creates the experience. And as a small business owner, that's how you can charge a lot more. You brought up Craigslist and eBay and Facebook, social media. Right. 800 million people are on Facebook right now. Even me. And I'm an old fart, <laughs> right? So, you know, it's a big potential audience. It's a great there. potential audience. I know a higher priced, really nice coffee shop that kicked off their business by getting 1,500 Facebook friends before they even open the door. So wow. your Facebook, well, that's my grandniece, right? Your Facebook, your <laughs> we, Facebook we account, <laughs> yes. yeah, Coco was on there. <laughs> but your Facebook account could be a great way to introduce people to who you are. Right. That's what the big stores don't have. They don't have you. So there's a lot of myths out here. You're just punching holes left mm -hmm. and right through them because you say if you follow your fellow retailers, you're going to follow them right off the edge of the cliff. Right. Unless you can do the big box experience, you can't be the low cost provider. So one of the things that's a myth is you have to charge the going rate. No, you don't. Be better, be you, mm. and charge whatever you need to. That's a, one myth. Is this oh, a host tip? Yes. By the way? This is well. Tip this for me? this is a, okay. So suppose you figure out this selling price, uh -huh. and you decide here you want to play with that. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I sure do. I sure at do. That. I this you, bad boy so, in particular. Yeah. So uh, you want to make more money? Test your good idea by mm -hmm. selling it to some. You put that back in. I didn't I know, know if well, you were gonna. It's the first time we've met. I <laughs> thought I'd give you at least till number two or three before Let's I started an eye on the hoisting Benjamin. the cash. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you want to make more money, charge more, be better, learn how to communicate yeah. what's different and better about you. But if you do what you love, the money won't just follow. You got to mm. figure out the money, honey.
The money, honey. The money, honey. We'll start calling her that. Okay. Thanks, Ellen, very much. <laughs> you can find a link to the free pricing worksheet that Ellen mentioned and Ellen's website on our website, GreatDayStLouis.com. If they want it, they're willing to pay for it. Right. We're providing something that folks want. Coming up today on Great Day St. Louis, we're just getting started here. It is time for toys. One of our favorite guests, Chris Byrne, aka the Toy Guy, is showing some of us, uh, showing us some of the latest and greatest toys and gadgets that your kids are going to love. Plus, we're getting a little crafty with, of all things, plastic. See how you can turn those regular old plastic grocery bags into some fun fabric coming up.